Today I'm uh, visiting Futurescape, uh, looking at environmental issues as part of my review of planning, the National Planning Framework 3 and Scottish Planning Policy, so understanding more about the connections with environment as part of uh, sustainable economic growth. Well, the inner fourth area is actually really important for birds. It's internationally designated for the, the wintering populations of birds that come in and use the area during the winter months to feed while they're on passage and on migration. But for us, the Futurescape is an area that we would like to deliver a lot of different benefits, not just for birds, but also for the, the people living in the area. And what we're really keen to do with our partners is find places where we can restore natural habitats and particularly wetland and intertidal habitats to create fantastic places for the birds, but also places where people can get out and they can enjoy the countryside and they can enjoy wildlife. And perhaps also we can deliver some wider benefits, for example, finding sustainable ways to, to manage flood water in the estuary. Well, I think what's been able to happen here through partnership working is a preservation of the environment, seeing it as an opportunity where various partners and stakeholders have come together to connect the environment with economic opportunities and revitalisation. So what we have is ecosystems working in partnership with economics and, of course, safeguarding some of the area's most beautiful spots. Well, the Futurescape is really about thinking big. So it's thinking across a landscape scale and finding places right across that landscape where we can deliver for people and for wildlife. So rather than thinking about focusing on little pockets of nature reserves, we actually want to create good places for, for wildlife right across that landscape. And if we can do that on a big scale, then we hope we can make a real difference to, to the landscape, to the birds that use the area, but also, as I say, to the people who, who live here and who work here and perhaps want to come and enjoy that landscape. I think the public should get involved in the planning consultation because it will affect every part of the country. It presents opportunities and it's good to be able to shape that and that's what the consultation exercise uh, tries to achieve between uh, local planning policies, national planning policies, key national sites and all the opportunities that it holds. And if communities get involved earlier, it means they can help shape their community rather than simply be an objector if they don't agree with proposals at the end of the process. So full and proper engagement I think is good for everybody involved in the planning system and it will create the kind of Scotland that we all want to live, work and invest in.